Hello, welcome once again on Real Inspiration. Today we're unleashing the real you in another special way. So what's this about? I just got to learn that most of the times when we're mad at people, when we're angry at them, when we're holding grudges, we give them total control of our lives. How do I say that? Or why do I say that? Let me put it this way. Have you ever been in that situation where you're going through a particular road and you see someone that you're so mad at or someone you're angry at and then you have to take a different turn? <laughs> yes, I used to do that a lot of times because I just don't want to talk to you. I don't just as much as want to get close to you. I'll take a different route. It might be longer. I wouldn't bother about it. I'll go through that route because I don't want you to get close to me. I don't want to talk to you. It's that bad. So who is living their life? The person might not even know you got them angry in the first place. They got you angry in the first place, sorry. So they're just going to go on living their lives and they'll be surprised at why you're behaving the way you're behaving. But that's them having control over you because you can't take a normal route that you normally take because you don't want to get, to get an encounter with them. How bad can that get? Sometimes you might not even relate with people who are relating with them because you're mad at them sometimes you can't go for parties you can't go for outdoor events you can't go for meetings because you know this particular person is going to be there oh my goodness how long really how long are you going to let someone have total control of your life it's a very very bad thing so i'll tell you today when next you have an issue with someone talk it out let a person know. Sometimes people do things that to them they don't consider it as a problem or fault finding, but you see it like that because of our cultures. So the next time someone does something to you, let them know. And if they're just nonchalant about it, it's okay. Move on with your life. But don't get so mad to the extent that you get them get a hold of you. You know, um, there's this wise saying that goes, um, Anger is like taking poison and expecting the person you're mad at should die. You're the prisoner and you're thinking you're imprisoning another person. Well, forgiveness is setting the captive free and knowing that you were the prisoner in the first place, not that person. So today, what am I telling you? Do you have someone that is that kind of person in your life that has a hold on you, that you can live your life beautifully? You can get to enjoy life as you're supposed to. Well, make peace with them. Tell them about what you're angry about. Tell them why they, they made you angry and let them get to understand it. If they do, fine. If they don't, it's all good. You need to live your life and don't let people have control over it. I love you so very much, but God loves you way more. If you enjoyed this video, get to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit the notification button so that you can always get our updates each time we upload something new.